Botox has been around for decades, but its younger sibling baby Botox is attracting a new audience. Baby or preventative Botox is done before wrinkles start to form, and it's becoming more popular through TikTok. Raise your brows up. Great. Relax now. Skincare can only do so much. Courtney Cochran started getting Botox seven years ago at 21. She says she's always had problems with her forehead. Whenever I raised my brows, I would have a lot of lines, and so I just kind of wanted to get ahead of that and start preventing that from, you know, being there forever. While her mother got treatments, Courtney says Botox wasn't discussed in her house but she had friends who told her there weren't many risks associated with the procedure. So I just decided to start doing it a little bit and then see if I like it. Um, if I didn't like it, it would wear off. She now works at Finn Plastic Surgery in Chapel Hill with Dr. Tyler Elkins-Williams, who says Botox is becoming more widely accepted. Back in the old days, it was like a big secret. Nobody ever talked about it. And now you're seeing people talk about their friends and even promote it on their social media accounts. Um, people video themselves getting treatments. Social media has played a huge role in baby Botox's popularity. Girls who get Botox in their 20s are winning, and here's why. But is it just another form of pressure for young women to meet unrealistic beauty standards? UNC journalism professor Gary Kay says so. What happens is, especially younger kids where the brains haven't fully developed, they tend to believe everything they see or start to internalize what they see. Botox is only available for those 18 or older, but younger girls are finding other ways to enhance their appearance. Talks about Sephora tweens have exploded on social media with girls as young as 10 crowding the beauty store to buy not only makeup products, but intense skincare like retinol. You're putting something in your body before your body has fully developed, right? That may not be a good thing when we have research 20 or 30 years from now, and we don't have that research yet. Dr. Elkins Williams says it's important for people to not base decisions on what society says. They should be doing things for themselves. You know, what bothers you and what you are trying to get out of it, not try to hold yourself to someone else's standard. Cochran says she wants people to realize that Botox is an individual procedure and that no one else's opinion should matter. It, if it is an insecurity of theirs and there is something to do that they can address it, you know, well, why not? While social media portrays the procedure as being more widely accepted, many women don't want others to know about their Botox. In Chapel Hill, Lauren Lovett reporting.